me quite severely as a man just walked past smoking a joint, effing and blinding. Why not? That's so Hereford, isn't it? Gosh. God, the traffic in this city is ridiculous. So loud, and you never get five minutes to you. Just don't get five minutes to yourself, beautiful ones. You just don't. Anyway, just stop moaning. I'll stop moaning now and um, just say hello. Hello, beautiful ones. How are you all doing out there? I hope you're all okay. It's me, Joseph. This is the house of Joseph. Um, bit of a random sort of video, I guess. Although today is freezing cold in Hereford. I've still got my cold and it's nearly, I've nearly had it for a month now. But it's little wonder really when you think about how, um, how cold and wet it is here constantly. It rains nearly every day. And it's for the bloody cars going backwards and forwards. It's ridiculous. I'm going to stop moaning right now and then I'm just going to be a bit more positive because I decided about three or four, no, two or three days ago, the reason, my, the reason for my being here in Hereford is to... Um, well, just really to bring a touch of class to the whole proceedings. Does that make sense? Because there is a little, little or no, little to no class in Hereford as I speak at this current moment in time. It's totally devoid of class. So that's what I'm doing here, beautiful ones. I'm bringing a touch of class to Hereford or Hereford, as I've been calling it. Or just Hereford would do, wouldn't it? To call it by its proper name or its... um. It's just its name, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's just its name. So I'm just going to go and buy my... um. My husband's birthday present because uh, David will be 49 in just over a week's time. So happy birthday to you, my bubba. I'm going to buy him a bottle of Aqua Di Gio, but that's between you and I, beautiful ones. Now then, do we think that Hereford is... Do we think we can find such a classy item as Aqua Di Gio in Hereford? This is the big question. So, and then I'm going to go and have my hair cut at a place called Amir's. I always cut my own hair, so I'm feeling a bit nervous about that, but should be quite fun. Um, and, and apparently he, he shapes beards as well, so I'll go for the full immersive haircut. Amir, infamous Amir experience, or experience, whatever. Just get on with it, man. Okay, getting on with it. So I will um, check in with you once I've located a bottle of Acre di Gio, and then, um, sorry, just two very nosy Herefordians mincing past me. Two more on the opposite side of the road, staring. These people are so nosy, they are incredibly nosy. Mind you, I don't suppose I've ever seen such a classy looking six foot three chap before. Do you know what I mean? Do you guys? I hope so. Sat right outside of my workplace, so I ought to be quite quiet because none of them actually know that David and I are husband and husband or gay. It's quite a butch environment as well. So <laughs> what I'm doing there is anyone's guess, beautiful ones. I'm a kitchen and bathroom advisor, so that's what I'm doing there. And David is um, David is the anchor of the place. He holds the entire place together. Bless him. Right, I'd better go and see if I can locate this bottle of Acre de Gio, and then I might film um, an exterior shot of Amir's. And if Amir agrees, I might even film inside. Oh, by the way, beautiful ones, I just wanted to just get your thoughts on this. David and I have discovered the most beautiful fish and chip shop in Hereford. It's called, uh, sorry, camera's shaking because I'm holding it with one hand. Um, it's called Edward's Place and I'm thinking of doing a food review on it. So um, I know my channel is mainly beauty, but it is lifestyle too. And um, very, very decent uh, fish and chip shops are very few and far between in Hereford or Hereford. Um, so I'm thinking I'll probably go in there this evening like David and I do most evenings and ask them if they mind if I just film a review for my YouTube channel. And then we were at a place called the Golden River the other day, last Sunday, so a week, um, a week not tomorrow because today's Friday, a week not tomorrow but the next day. <laughs> and we both got food poisoning, so it's a Chinese restaurant, so, you know, go figure that one out. So there'll be two, two food reviews, one on um, Edward's Place Fish and Chip Shop, the best fish and chip shop in Hereford, possibly England. And then um, the Golden River, the worst Chinese in the world, I think, beautiful ones. And I better go because it's starting to rain again. Remember, I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you in about a second or two to, um, to show you whether I've procured a bottle of Aqua Di for my hus hub hubster. Okay, see you soon. Take care. We're going to be going in here, guys, to see whether these people have a bottle of Aqua Di Of course, they didn't have any beautiful ones, did they? Didn't think they would, but... 
So now we must try Superdrug, which is probably around twice as expensive as the fragrance shop, but we can't um, cut corners when it comes to our hubsters, can we guys? No, we so cut. Can you hear that? Children that should be in bed, it's only about four o'clock, but they should be in bed, shouldn't they really? They so should. Well, I'm gonna go to Superdrug and I'll ca check in with you once I've um, located it. What time is it? So I've got my hair cut at three. Okay, better go, speak to you soon. So beautiful ones. Again, another monumental waste of time. Superdrug have absolutely nothing in stock. The wimp girl behind the counter was useless. I said, have you got any Aquatigio? And she just went, no. Didn't even look, do you know what I mean? But, um, and I've been into Boots and it's about 70 pounds there. And I know I can get it online for 50, so. Um, looks like I'll be buying David his bottle of aftershave from um, online somewhere, not eBay or anywhere like that, because they can't be trusted to not send out fakes. Do you know what I mean, do you guys? And my hubster deserves um, nothing but the 100% genuine article for his big day next Monday. Shall I stop waffling? I'll stop waffling right now, guys, and go and get my barnet. I'm just trying to put it off now. I'm massively procrastinating because, as I've said before, I, I do cut my own hair for a very good reason, and that's the fact I just can't abide anyone touching my head. And it's also those little sticky, sort of prickly little hairs. Do you know what I mean? That you get, um, yes. that get trapped down your collar, and David gets his hair cut there too at Amir's and he assures me that Amir will blow those hairs away with a, a hairdryer and he'll wrap me up and make me look like a mummy or maybe not like a mummy but shall I stop shall I stop that right now and just go and get my barnet cut shall I be brave I'll be a brave boy and I'll go and get my hair cut and um if if Amir agrees for me filming then you may very well see the interior of his shop very very soon but if not then um I apologize you'll just be seeing the exterior of Amir's barber's salon or whatever it's called barber's salon or what's the French for hairdressers? Now shall I stop that? I'm stopping it. Okay guys, I'll see you soon. Take care. So what do we think, beautiful ones? Give me a bit of a, a quiff. It's not a quiff, it's just my cow lick in my hair. Um, 20 pounds and he only charged David 15 so that's a point down to Amir. Doesn't matter though, does it? These people are so nosy. They are so, so nosy. I look about 10 years younger, don't I? Which is possibly... Oh, I'm just sat opposite a um, fabulous shop called Philip Morris. Can you see the old Watland Orb? I think that's how it's pronounced. The old um, Tudor building opposite me. It's not Selfridges London, beautiful one. So I'm in Hereford, not London. But no, I'm quite pleased with that. So Amir gave me the full immersive hairdressing barbering experience today. He did. He gave me a nice new haircut. He scolded me quite severely as a man just walked past smoking a joint, effing and blinding. Why not? That's so Hereford, isn't it? And I decided, you know, guys, to enable to, for me to enable, to enable me to inculcate the ways of um, Hereford in the ways of classiness, one has to look the part, doesn't one? One does. So now I think I'm looking a little bit, um, a little bit more decent. I was just saying, was I that Amir told me off for, um, for clipping my own hair. He wasn't very pleased with me. <laughs> Quite a character from Egypt, um, from Alexandria. Alexandra? Alexandria, you know, the place with the old lighthouse. One of the seven wonders of the world, which is now sadly gone. But um, so I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> How vain am I? But no, I think it, Amir's done a good job. So £20 well spent, although it should have, in fact, been even 15 But we won't hold that against Amir, will we? Do you notice the way I rolled my R's in? Amir, because that's his name, Amir, or Amir. I'm gonna go and treat myself to a sausage roll now. There's a beautiful um, butcher's down here called, I wanna say Philip Morris, but that's not the name, but that's the name of the um, the old black and white building opposite, but that's but I'm sat in front of, um, and it's on either side of the street, so, and they sell really, really nice stuff like Le Creuset, which David's obsessed with. David's obsessed with Le Creuset crockery currently. So I'm rethinking David's birthday present now, away from a bottle of Acre de Gio to a, um, a Le Creuset teapot or something, possibly of the same value. But how can um, a bottle of aftershave be so wildly different prices? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, take a photo, it'll last longer. But you've got these people are so nosy. I've never known so much nosiness in my entire life. I just haven't. It's, and they're blatant with it as well. Do you know what I mean? They're not even subtly nosy. They're so nosy. The next one that does it to me, I'm going to spit directly in their face. No, I'm so not. But well, I'm going to go and treat myself to a sausage roll and then I'll um, 
Do you want one last look at the old barn? It's sort of a military affair going on. Oh, he tied it up my beard as well. Very much so. In fact, he's left me with a few whiskers, a little bit of stubble on my old chin. <laughs> Cheers, Amir, for making me look like a 12-year-old. No, he didn't. He's done a damn good job, hasn't he? He has. He's done a bloody good job. So, so should we do a sweep around? Can you hear the busker beautiful ones whilst I continue to be very vain and just... It needs dyeing, of course. The beard needs a bit of black on it, doesn't it? Because ginger roots, wildly, vi violently ginger roots are showing through. But I am Celtic, I'm Welsh at the end of the day, and the whole black eyebrows and black beard thing is a fallacy. It's not real at all. But you don't want to see me without any black beard on my dye, on my, black dye on my beard or on my eyebrows because it's not pretty at all, beautiful ones. In fact, David's trying to, and currently trying to persuade me to, um, to drop the old black beard. <laughs> David doesn't love me at all, does he? He just wants me as a totally different... No, I'm joking. Of course he does. Uh, he only asked me at Christmas if um, I would consider going ginger, because David's quite gingery brown, you know, very Celtic, sort of um, reddish, reddish facial hair. He's got a great, lovely beard. Um, obviously, I refused, but... Hello. You know what I mean, so, um, yeah... That's the funny thing about these people is that they are very friendly, but they're very, very nosy at the same time. And unless you attack them with friendliness, you know, and say hello when they are staring at you as if you've got three heads or 12 tongues or four eyes or eight eyes like a spider. I'm going to go now, guys, and go and treat myself to a sausage roll or two. OK, I love you all. See you soon. Take care. I just spend all day glaring at people. Do you know what I mean? It's not the classiest thing to do, is it? So my new attitude is just to... um. Yeah, hair's looking decent, isn't it? My new attitude is to, to smile with grace and dignity and class, of course, whilst one scoffs one's um, sausage roll from Neil Powell. Can you see that? £1.19 for a dirty great big F-off um, sausage roll. And they are delicious as well. They sell these little fat ones, which are about two inches thick. So much pork in them, guys. But the sausage rolls are very pork-laden too. All right, beautiful ones, I admit this place isn't that bad. Okay, sort of falling in love with it, really. God help me. Anyway, here's to a nice, uh, what was it called? Neil Powell sausage roll. Delicious. Mm. 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 See you soon. Love you.